particular location from OAKLA to LV. I'm a Raider. Raider Nation, what's going on? You're watching the Raiders Report. Today's show presented by Only One Nation. Go to onlyonenation60.com. Use code FCOVID to get yourself a free face mask when you purchase a hat, a tank top, or a t-shirt. So obviously, hey, I'm live here in Las Vegas. I told you all, get your questions flowing in, and I'm going to answer them here when I'm in Las Vegas. If you want to hang out with me in Vegas, DM me on Instagram at MitchellRens365. So the first question I got here is from LilPoo420. Do you think Think that the Raiders will make the playoffs. I'm going to give that one about two Chucky heads. People are talking. Next question flowing in here is from Raul Swavir. Are we going to get Jadeveon Clowney? That is a multi-million dollar question. Still one of the top free agents there on the free agent market. He's looking to get paid about one million or one year, 12 to 15 million dollars a year. But I would say right now it's the Titans, the Raiders, Probably with the top two teams in the mix for Clowney. Next question. I love it. Are the Raiders going to get Jalen Ramsey? Jalen Ramsey is going to be a free agent in 2021. Has kind of, uh, you know, been in the loop here with the Raiders. Talked to Henry Ruggs a little bit on his Instagram. Said, is 22 available? If you remember, he was on a podcast about a year ago with Blogging with the Boys. He said that I would like to play with either the Titans, his hometown team, or the Las Vegas Raiders. The only issue is if we're going to go out and get them, that means either Trayvon Mullen or Damon Arnett or Prince of Mucamara, one of those players did not quite work. All right, next question. Let's go to my man Gary0926. Will John Gruden re-sign either David Sharp or Markel Lee? Right now you're looking at a real lack of depth at the offensive tackle positions. You have Colt Miller, you got Trent Brown, two very solid players there for the Raiders. But besides them, it is a little bit of a question mark. I do think they ultimately keep David Sharp. But let's talk about Mark Kel Lee just got put on the pup list on Monday. Solid linebacker. Battled some injuries for this team last season, but 2018 did step up for us. Had about 68 tackles. Is he going to be able to come in and get that starting role? But you also got to remember they did go out and draft Tanner Muse, third round, number 100 overall. Let's go to my man Drewski underscore B400. Carr's best season due to the first time he's had the same system. So, yes, this will be the first time that, or that Derek has got three straight years in the same system. You add Henry Ruggs, you have a healthy Tyro. Williams, a great running game, a solid offensive line, plus some of the best tight ends in the National Football League. Let's go to Jay Hooch. Do you think that the Raiders will, how do you think that the Raiders will use Lynn Bowden Jr.? Well, if you remember, he's not allowed to tell you. He's supposed to be the secret weapon. He was asked this about a month ago. I jokingly said he can't tell anyone, but what I like to see is this. You're looking at a player that won the most versatile college football award last season at Kentucky. Over 400 passing yards over 1,400 rushing yards. He actually led the country in rushing yards per attempt with 7.9 yards and then also was able to catch the football 30 receptions. They're going to use him as a joker. They're going to see a lot of different formations with him, especially when it's like third and one, fourth and one. He's going to get thrown into the mix as well. I don't want to say that he's going to be the Taysom Hill of the Raiders, but I definitely think that he's going to be able to help out our offense a lot. Let's go to Big Papa underscore Chavez 74. Who is the greatest under underrated Raider of all time. Can you be the greatest and underrated at the same time? That's a tough question for me. When I think about being underrated, I'll say right now the most underrated player on this Raiders team, I might actually make the argument for Rodney Hudson. Didn't get put in the NFL top 100. Has been one of the best pass blocking centers in the NFL for six straight seasons. And well, the fact that I even got to talk about it, that's kind of sucky. Also, Alec Ingold, very, very underrated. We give a lot, a lot of credit to Josh Jacobs. Alec Ingold is one of the best athletes on this Raiders team. High school wrestler, one of the best in the country, then goes to Wisconsin to play linebacker. They're like, you know what? Let's put you at fullback so you can start wrecking people. And he's been an absolute stud ever since then. I would say all-time underrated Raider. I'm going to go with, uh, let's go with either Tom Flores because he still hasn't gotten in the Hall of Fame. Or how about a player like Cliff Branch, rest in peace, one of the fastest Raiders of all time. If you remember, Mark Davis said one of the reasons why he wanted Henry Ruggs in the draft was because he reminded him a lot of Cliff Branch. He unfortunately has passed away. So if everyone in the comment section below can please type RIP. Before I go over to the YouTube questions, I want to remind you, you are watching the Las Vegas Report and shit, we are here. 
here live in Las Vegas. I'm looking for the best Raiders bars. So if you got any recommendations for me, you know where to find me. I'm on Instagram at MitchellRens365. And if you haven't already, make sure that you guys hit that subscribe button. We are 100% free. Let's go to the next question here from Philip. Uh, do you think that the big name quarterback will opt out this season? the big name quarterback. I'm not sure who you exactly mean. I don't think any of the Raiders quarterbacks are going to opt out. Trade Mahomes and Carr. Nope, they're not going to trade either of those players. Let's go to uh, player all-time on offense. I think the greatest offensive player for the Raiders has got to be Marcus Allen. Tim Brown can be thrown in there. Bo Jackson, very underrated as well. Very, very great players. If you're looking for, let's say, the GOAT of T-shirt companies or Raiders gear, only one nation. They're the reason why I'm out here this weekend. They're a big reason why, well, we don't have to turn the lights on because we got the Las Vegas sun beating down on us. It's over 100 degrees here. Seriously, though, if you want a new T-shirt, if you want a hat, if you want a free face mask all you got to do is go to only one nation 60.com and use promo code f covid to save 20 percent off and like i said you're gonna be able to get that free face mask so let's go to back to some of these questions here on youtube that i got for y'all which rookie are you most excited for the top three rookies that i can't wait to watch obviously i want to see the speed and henry ruggs i want to see how lynn bowden's getting used i do want to see brian edwards how he's going to be able to compete with tyrell because if he can compete well tyrell you're going to cut him next season and save $11.6 million. But Amik Robertson, I want to see how Amik Robertson really challenges LaMarcus Joyner. LaMarcus Joyner, a player that we went out and signed last offseason, four years, $44 million, didn't really quite pan out this past season. The Louisiana Tech rookie, he is really, really going to push him. 14 interceptions last year, 34 pass breakups, one of the best players that we're going to have. But the one guy that I can't wait to see it's got to be Lynn Bowden Jr. I mean, it just has to be. Running back, wide receiver, are we going to use him as a joker? Could you see some of the Wildcat? He's already called out some big-name players like the Honey Badger, so he's better either put up or he's better shut up, but I think he's going to be putting up for this season. Shout-out to Matthew. He just said, go Raiders. Danny says, I'm sure he will spend over half the show talking about only one nation. You're damn right I will. You're damn right I will. Uh, do you think... What else we got here? We'll go two more questions, and then I'll get out of here. Somebody said, where are you going to be at, bro? At Sons of Al. I'll be bouncing around, going to some different spots. Virgil's Barbecue will probably be a place. Barcode Burger, Saturday, 1 p.m. Eastern time if you want to come hang out. or No, 1 p.m. Pacific time if you want to come hang out, uh, have some brews with us. Somebody asked, can Derek Carr start calling some plays? I do think Derek Carr does already call some of the shots. You just got to realize, John Gruden, it's his team. It's his offense. He is ultimately going to be the one running a lot so remember today's show is presented by only one nation 60.com go there you can get t-shirts everything that they have on store is under 30 dollars and if you want to be able to get a free face mask use promo code f covid if you haven't already please hit that subscribe button like the video and hopefully y'all get to come out here to las vegas real soon raider nation what's going on is this the number one raiders channel on youtube for chucky heads believe it baby and if you haven't already subscribe right here i'm giving you chucky heads news rumors raider nation rumors and look at this i'm making your life easier check out my next video thanks for watching and go raiders